HOLY SHIT! I don't know if I'm gonna put an intro on these videos or not, even if it's for, like, a very brief moment, but... I don't know. For the sake of argument, I hope you didn't poo yourself from this last one, whatever it is. Maybe I'll do something, maybe I didn't, so this may be completely irrelevant. Alright, uh... Okay, I thought there was sound lag there for a second. Was this room always this screwed up? I don't know. Whatever. Anything? Oop. Uh, I completely missed that. Can you... Can you repeat that? Mio. Well, duty! I messed that up. Oop. Don't do that! Woo! Alright. So now we're into slightly unfamiliar territory, as I have kind of forgotten a lot. And I just missed a ghost. Blue filament, gone. So, oops. That's really annoying, by the way. The fact that you could miss these ghosts, but, you know. Oh, well. But I actually do remember some of the hidden ghosts. I'm going to try to get them. Although, you know, in... Ooh, there's a shiny there. I saw that. Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> That's for the pansies who don't like... Who, who are scared of the ghosts that I'm about to go and fight. <laughs> uh, yeah. I don't want to use too much Type 14, but... It's kind of necessary, I think. Dad gum, she's quick. And my you is scooting today. Well, crunch it ties me, Captain. Wait, what? Oh. It's calling. Mayu Vision. <laughs> crackhead oh. <laughs> A crackhead simulator. That's what I was trying to think of. The lighting effects in the Xbox version were a little bit better. Not only that, but there was an unlockable first-person mode, which I can only imagine how frigged up that is. A woman in a kimono. Why not? Or kimono. I suspect there might be a hidden ghost here. No, I was thinking of... Uh, no, I think there was like a stone fragment here in, like, the Wii version or something. I don't know. There's hidden items in the Wii version. Which, interesting concept. Really crap execution. And we got our first power-up lens, I believe. Slow. Uh, slows down the movement of a spirit. That thingy uh, temporarily slows down the movement of the spirit being photographed. To use, uh, press the... No, I think... No, the first game did have spirit stones. Or, which, speaking of which, we, I need to play that on the radio. To, uh, what it was is it was the the spirit stones or whatever. Uh, you found like 40 or 50 of them. And your power-ups used to them over the course of the game. So you didn't really have to wait for them to charge, but you had a very limited amount. This one, what it does is when you take a take a photo, those blue orbs that come off from any of your attacks will fill up your, uh, <coughs> your, uh, your power-up meter, and then that's basically what it does. While this effect is active, the spirit will move slower and shutter chances will be longer, making the spirit easier to capture. This is especially- GHOSTBUSTERS! This is especially effective against quick spirits and or spirits that are difficult to time. Raising the level of this effect extends its duration, which might be- Oh! It's a thingy! Measure. Uh, so yeah, it takes all of one fight for the game to say, Oh yeah, it's really annoying not knowing how, how weak the spirit is. So, haha. Ha. When this function is equipped, it shows the remaining HP of the uh, closest spirit in the capture circle of the... Closest spirit... Oh. The closest spirit, meaning the one that's closest to your face! So we're gonna go in here, and we're gonna fight... 
the a ghost that terrifies most people, but might just be annoying to some. I think. Or does that happen later? Herbal meds. No, no, no! There it is! Are you a fan of the ring? <laughs> Meet Bootleg Sadako. And I have completely forgotten how to play this game all of a sudden. Oh, shit! Balls! Alright, let's not bugger this one up. Come on, you asshole. Oh! Oh! How about that, you crazy bitch? I wish this game played in 60 frames per second, because it would be so much easier to time these things if I wasn't having to deal with a plebeian frame rate. That, and if my reaction time was not that of a Jerry. The triangle button also takes a picture! What?! <laughs> Alright, uh, take that down, and let's get the 14 out, because she's almost dead. And there's a way to change film on the fly, but that may be something you have to unlock. Anyway, we need to, we need to be fast. Because it's about to get insane in the membrane! There it is! Ah, dicks! Man, that's weak film. That is weak film, man! Wait, go for it. <laughs> Go, 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 go! Yes! Oh! You did! You did! I shot you in the head! Hell yeah. So. That somewhat terrifying thing. Uh, and a spirit orb. So let's, uh, have ourselves a little bit of look at things. By, uh, file... Or is it radio? Ah. Derp. Aragonite. Aragonite. Aragon is a book I read once. Do you your sister's house. You, I... All right, know that. And Moonstone. Darkness. The darkness is darkness is darkness is dark. Dark. It's coming. It's coming. Yeah. Dirty minds! <coughs> Change page? Oh. That's just so you can make a lot of scanning. Alright, so what's in the memos today? Uh, Lost Village did... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I wonder if you can just... Oh, that's just one way to do it. Alright. Masumi Makimura, a geological surveyor, went missing during an investigation of the forest that would be submerged once a local dam was built. Legend has it that the people who get lost in this forest are spirited away by the lost village. Uh, could that be what happened to Masumi? Masumi's girlfriend, Mayaka Sudo, believing him to still be alive in the forest, went in search of him. She, too, ended up wandering into the lost village. The Camera Obscura is a special camera created by Dr. Eshel to capture supernatural phenomena that couldn't be seen with the naked eye. It was designed to photograph visions of the past and spirit entities, but it was also, but it was a prototype and its functions hadn't been fully tested. Photographing things that ordinary people can't see with this camera had an exorcismal effect. So Jura Makabe, a folklorist who had come to investigate Minikami, uh, Minikami Village, borrowed this camera from Dr. Eshel to photograph the pho village's rumored forbidden ritual. M uh... Dr. Kunihiko Ashe was a folklorist who studied the spirit world. He modified the latest gadgets at the time, the camera, radio, and projector, trying to create a machine that could capture supernatural phenomenon. He was shunned by the academic world, but friends... Academic world, but friends with Makabe. Great! 
Spirit Stone Radio. The Spirit Stone Radio is a modified crystal radio set, uh, set that used crystals as part of its circuitry. It built, picked up voices from the spirit world. It was created by Dr. S. Hill, who also designed the Camera Obscura. Dr. S. Hill was giving Makabe the Camera Obscura prototype of the Spirit Stone Radio, traveled Japan, seeking ways to complete his Camera Obscura, but died unexpectedly. His death meant his, the principles behind how the house... The, Alrighty! Uh, Phantom Frame 3 said something about occult markings on the lens. What the heck is it getting? 9 11 16. It's 9 10 16. And is that my playtime? No. That's not the time. <sighs> yeah, this is the 9 11 of playthroughs, but you know. Let's not make too many jokes. Nah. Okay, right, we're gonna do our first hard save. Hard! Damn this game. It does not have. A lot of music, but what music it does have is amazing. That's nostalgia right there, hearing this. That is lovely. And I know I saved it, but I'm actually going to do a quick save just in case that buggers up somehow. And likely, and likewise, I can start it from a hard save just in case the the quick save buggers up. So there we go. That's how things are worked. Emulators are somewhat unfair because you can sort of fake having fewer saves. Uh, even if you've played for just as long. Actually, and I'm tempted to just stop playing here, but, you know, maybe not. But I don't know where to go now. Uh, butterfly. Yeah, butterfly means save point. Uh, but not safe point. I do want to try finding that other notebook, though. Yeah, let's try finding that other notebook. And also risk getting into more FIGHTS! BOOM! Right off the bat, you done did a stupid- Oh, it's two of them. Ah, buggery. Alright, uh, let's actually do some upgrades. If we can. Uh... Do we even have enough to do anything? Exorcismal, uh, exorcismal power and shot range. Uh, great. We're gonna put... Let's just... We're gonna use this to brute force it. Let's just get our sensitivity going. Can't upgrade that yet, but this fight should turn the tide. Hey, up! Come on, I got your number, mother heba! That guy behind me is a bit of a concern, in it? Situational awareness is key in this game. And so is actually being good at it, which I'm not! Sit down! Have a sit down! Yeah, this is bad. This is very bad. Stop it! No! She it! Ha 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 ha! You can't do duty! We could probably buy that upgrade now. Wait, okay, get out of the menu and get up the stairs. Menu? Whatever. Whatever I'm trying to say. I know what I'm trying to say. Do you know what I'm trying to say? That sounds like a vague conversation from Bojack Horseman. Oops. I did not mean to do that, but, you know. Oops. <laughs> if you get the, um... Whatever it's called. Oh, shit! Run, Mio! Buggery! Dadgummit! It's time to upgrade! Ah! Oh, hello. I don't know what I just did. And I'm... My phone has to go off during a recording, doesn't it? Alright, let's, uh... Get... Uh, not equip, you bastard! Function... Use points. Okay. Oh, yeah! Hey, yeah, you're gonna get a lot of points over the course of this game, especially if you use good film and don't suck. If you get the fatal frame shots, as is the title, then you can get yourself a lot of points. 
And uh, point scale with damage, so I think. So it's quality of shot and damage and stuff like that. So you're not really losing anything by upgrading. This is not good. I'm out of here. I should have just waited. <sighs> Mio, do a thing. Mio, go away. Mio, travel. Situational awareness is not my forte. Unless you're talking about GTA 4, in which case I know exactly what I'm doing at all times. Come on, you pricks. Do a thing. There it is. Tasty. That was a double shot. More points. Come on. You can get a combo shot as well if you, pa if you peg him with a fatal frame, but... Since I don't have the thing that tells me I can get a fatal frame, then, you know. But one of them is still alive and unhappy with me. Okay. Let's get out of his way. This is just some point farming. At this rate. Jamal! Oh, that was bad framing. And I want to get the full shot. I could just kill him right now, but I'm gonna wait for the zero. Because you get more points. Core shot. I think core shot is whenever you like get it lined up like really well. Good night, sweet princesses. Points. Uh oh, total score. I don't know. How many points do I have now? Uh, 2,800, or almost, tw almost 2,900. That's a nice little accumulative score for now, but we're going to go find that notebook. A notebook which was probably somewhere else. In fact, I probably missed it. I don't know why I think that, but I probably missed it. Can R1 bring up the camera? Can any other button do any other thing? Oh, shit! Balls! What am I looking at? What am I looking for? Oh. It's the mattress. <laughs> Ugh. That's not nice! So that was just some extra points. Is there anything around here that we missed? Shit. I don't think so. Bugger it. Uh, if we go up here, we'll have plenty of wiggle room, and we can go back down, circle back round, and do whatever. Which is exactly what we should be doing. This is a game that, if you take your time, you'll get more points, but you'll also... Well, you'll take more time. We've already been here. Wait a minute. Ah, shit. Balls. I want to take your picture. That's twice. Oh, wait. It's still there. Wait, what? What am I looking at? You. It's a children. Great. I take pictures of children because I have issues. Issues that should not be reported to the police. Because I'd rather maintain freedom to do what I want than be held accountable for it. Because I'm a millennial! Alrighty. Uh, there are some dishes and pots in the cabinet. There isn't anything unusual about them. Except for the fact that they all have ornate drawings of dicks. Ah! Herbal mitts. Uh, old kimonos and ornaments are crammed into the drawer haphazardly. Sounds like my room. <laughs> Albeit with the without kimonos. I don't own a kimono because I'm not... I'm not a weeaboo. Not really, anyway. I like Japan as a country, but... You know, every country's got its problems. And I live in friggin' America. You talk about a country with problems... 
So, let's check room. No let's butt behind door number three, Johnny! Or four, whatever. Some containers on the shelf. Isn't anything unusual about them? Uh, the mortuary tablets and incense burners on the family altar are covered with dust. Funny enough, we will be coming back here. That altar does come back into play later. So it's important to note where they are. They are right there. Great. Uh, anything behind? There are flowers in the alcove. They're withered, but it looks like they were placed here recently. Hmm. Has Mio taken up interior decorating? Sounded like a gunshot. In the game, not in real life. I don't live in Compton. Oops. <laughs> don't do that, mate. It's also quite warm in my room at the moment, which is annoying. Holy shit! There is a face on the wall! Look at that! The emulator was flickering slightly and I was able to see it! And away it goes! Alrighty then! I feel like I've had enough for today! I heard somebody just whisper Masumi. Which makes me about as happy as a dead clam. Village Report 1. Maybe they belong to the missing surveyors. Oh, shoot! I just remembered something I needed to do. I do need to actually try to leave this house because then we'll get an important item. Uh, for some reason, one of the statues is in the form of twins. I have also found a description of twin deity statue in the writings lying around the house. Great! Oh. Alrighty then. I looked down into the old well, but it was pitch black and I couldn't see a thing. In Fatal Frame 1, something comes flying out of the well, so you're not missing much. If you listen closely, you can only hear wind blowing, and it seems that the water has all dried up. I can't tell. Well then, drop a candle down there. And then when the fire goes out, blame yourself for dropping a candle down there like an idiot. I found a small shrine at the top of a long set of stairs, shrouded in mist. It seems very old, but it is well made and has not fallen into disrepair. The entrance has a large butterfly. Which then got shot by a hunter thinking it was a crow. Holy crap! I came to this hill to take a look at the gate I passed through when I entered the village, but when I tried to find it, it buggered off and then joined a strip club. There seem to be survey details of various locations, but the entries are cut off. There must be something at these places he's written about. And I believe the brazier... There's just an anomaly here! <laughs> I thought it was... Th I thought the brazier was lit up, but no, it's... Ah, look at that. There is kind of a hidden ghost there. Look at that. Tasty treats! So long as she doesn't just turn around, go ooga booga, and start attacking. I'm good. All around me are some hidden faces in worn out places. Worn out places. Bright and early for some daily reaming. Always dreaming. Always dreaming. We have to try to leave. Ah! Because there's a... There's an important... There it is. That's the item I was looking for. Mayu's charm. Use radio on the menu to listen to the words held within the stone. Uh... Use my brain! What am I trying to do? Okay. Mayu's charm. Roll credits. It's John Cena! 
do, 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 do. All right. Yeah, I don't really want to say. Uh, I wonder. Nah. Right. I hear like whispering. Damn, this game's sound design Urgh! makes me nervous and shit. All right. Well, I didn't find the other notebook, and honestly, I'm neither surprised nor upset because. Although, did I check the box that uh, Sadako came out of? Well, there's sacred water, which restores health to full. That's the kind of thing you really don't want to use that often. That's the that's the oh shit item of the day. But anyway, I am going to save the game here, right now, standing here next to me. And... I do believe that's going to have to do for now, because I am a prick and I just spent 26 minutes doing nothing important. But it was fun. It was a lot of fun. And thank you for joining me. Happy birthday to me. I'm not a narcissist, but happy birthday to me. And play this game for yourself. Like, you know, if you absolutely cannot get a copy of this game like if there's no mom and pop shops that carry it and if it's i wonder how much this game costs on like ebay or something we're gonna find out all right so you can get this game from off of uh you can get this game off of amazon for 50 dollars. so you're paying for basically new prices but it's quite lovely wait yes sir Wait, teen rated my butt. This is mature. The first game is rated teen. This is M for blood and violence. It's a very violent game. And if you don't want that, if you want somewhat better visuals and some extra features and stuff, you can get it on Xbox and you get the director's cut, which does not have as good of box art, but it's interesting and it also comes with like I said new features and some other things but you know oh that's for new yeah whatever so there you go <coughs> I forgot how much I paid for this <coughs> I paid thirty dollars for fatal frame 2 at GameStop before they stopped to stop with the Harambe stuff I don't even care anyway for all I know, that didn't even show up on screen. I think this is actually recording PSX2. Oops! So that was probably the stupidest conversation you've ever heard. But I don't care! You can get this game for under $50 off of Amazon, probably a little less on eBay. Heck, uh, uh, Metal Gear Solid Twin Snakes typically runs like $60. I got it for $20 off of eBay. So, you know, tasty treats! But anyway, you know, that's the that's the birthday session for me, which was playing a little bit of my favorite horror game. And it is... It's a trip. It is a messy, messy trip. And I love it. It's beautiful. Thank you very much for watching. This is Zay the Virgin Gamer, signing off. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope to see you next time.